shit. Let's open the door. Nice. What? Who's there? Someone just come kill you. I don't think there was anything in there. Seems like that the uh, the flashlight mod actually hurts performance. Yeah, you can't take the candle, so. <laughs> Bunch of ammo. Oh, look, a naked woman. Oops, I didn't want that armor. Nope, that's good. Nice. <laughs> that's cool. It's in your little ammo box. Is this a woman? No. I don't know why I thought it was, but... Let's see how good that is. Nothing. That's trash. Probably gonna talk about Covenant again. There's that little foot. Covenant. You know the one that I mean, right? That one. Well. Okay. It happened recently, but all of a sudden, there's just. No one there. I haven't heard. Uh, you know, explanation for it, but it, it definitely happened. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Nice. Pistol or pipe revolver, same thing. Okay. Another dead naked dude. Okay, well, let's just keep traveling. Nice.
What's in here? Oh, it's power. Oh, that's a fucking robot. Oh, okay, Mr. Mr. Gutsy. Where are you, Mr. Gutsy? Thank you. Yelling brain fungus. so weird like how is this stuff still standing huh it's a nest that's probably a what is that garbage No radiation. Nice. Why is there a dead carcass? I think I've been here before, but I don't know why there's a dead body in the... Oh, come on, unfreeze. Thank you. Hmm, wait. Drifter Outfit Plus. Huh. Let's see how my character looks like in that. Kind of shitty. Drifter Outfit. I like the road weather weathers. I can go up this ramp. I knew there was either a stairs or a ramp somewhere. Just went down to thirty seven. Just getting warmed up over here. Oh, I think I shot two. Poor thing still twitching. Don't quit. 
I see ya. Yeah, he's dead. Road leathers. Sign the old neighbors. I don't know what that means. Case that's locked. Really? Cool beans, but there's nothing in here. There's plenty of places to, to explore. Seems like this used to be like a... Hmm. I don't know what I just picked up. Let me see what I just picked up. That. Ugh. Remington. Hmm. It won't give me any this picture of what it looks like, though. Surprised the body didn't blow up. See, but that could also just be a a prop kind of thing. Stump. Coming to you from. Uh... Okay, well, let's keep heading this way to Vault 88. I like doing this kind of traveling because it, you can explore and you just get to see stuff. Fast traveling is fun too. Well, I know we're really close. Really? <laughs> okay, so where the hell is this vault? So I've always just fast travel to it. Is this it? I think it is, yep. Come 
long do I have left? 40 minutes. Okay. Okay. Sorry, it's like I'm reading something. Oh yeah, I forgot I closed it. Okay, where is this bitch? Did, what's his name? Die or something? I can't remember. I don't think we've met yet. I wanted to personally thank you for giving us this opportunity. Anything specific you want me to do? I'm willing to pitch in anywhere you need. Not right now. Thanks. Okay. Apparently there's you more. You should have seen it. We cut those raiders to pieces. I doubt they'll be back. Okay. Uh, I'll there. do well. Promise. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. vault scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to... socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good. With chemistry. What? Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem. You worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals. Don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just... special chemicals. <laughs> she seems evil. What type of chemicals are we talking about? Well, that's up to you. But from what I've read, the R&D folks really outdid themselves. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Indeed. After all, we're with Voltec. <laughs> so build the soda fountain, and then... Serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, 
Thanks. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. I need to put Raiders power thought to we it. were easy pickings. We showed them different. You should have seen it. We cut those raiders to pieces. I doubt they'll be back. Okay, well, they're all dead. Get a nice refreshing beverage. Excuse me. Never thought I'd have an honest to goodness job. Why Never have... thought I'd have an honest to goodness job. Connect the terminal. Okay. Move. Move, you dumb people. I'm open for business. 
Come on, clown, you idiot. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess... Then. Hey. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. You're back! Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> just great. Wow. Yeah, just great. It's so great, I don't even know what I'm saying. Neither do I. More fuckers. The soda fountain shows enormous potential. Overseer. To think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Thanks for your help fighting ah, them off. It fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks. But that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. The Hippocratic Oath is there for a reason. It's the right thing to do. Spare me conventional platitudes. We have history to make. So, enter the Voltec Foropter. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But, potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. Your ideas keep getting worse. Terrible. We've perfected two prototypes already. This is what progress looks like. And don't concern yourself too much about the nuclear material. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. Thanks, Thanks for your, your help, help, friend. Okay, well, let's... Continue on. Who do I need to talk to? Talk with Clem and the, and the Overseer. Let's trade. Bad. He doesn't have Yum anything to trade. Soda. <laughs> Ooh. 
Looks like we have our first patient. Yes. Before we begin, Clem, how do you feel about children? Uh, uh, they're, they're all right, I guess. Yeah. You ever yeah. planning on having any? <laughs> I, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Something. I mean, I, uh, I'm not saying anyone is a sin. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's correct. No. And you know, of course, the mayor. I mean, I mean, I was not. I, I have to read. I, I have a statement from the mayor's office. Okay, talk. Give me perception boost every time I use it. No. Exam with the four. This thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. So, what do I do? Just stay still. Oh, my head feels hot. Oh, well, just stay still. Fuck, it hurts. Oh, God, I feel sick. All right, sorry. I'm working on it. Were you nuking me? What the hell? You know how these experiments go. It's just a small irregularity. Nothing to concern yourself with. Bullshit. I ain't buying it over, sir. And this ain't over. <clears throat> what the hell is your game? You invite Clem and me in here to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? It's not what you think. <laughs> you can't talk your way out of this, pal. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I've got a job now. I'm an optim... I run the eye machine. I can't leave. Run while you can, Clem. So, one of our residents left. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. Really? I can't kill them? Well, that's dumb. You here for an eye exam with the four... This thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. So, what do I do? Just stay still. Oh, my head feels hot. Oh, well, just stay still. Fuck, it hurts. Oh, God, I feel sick. All right, sorry! I'm working on it. Were you nuking me? What the hell? You know how these experiments go. It's just a small irregularity. Nothing to concern yourself with. Bullshit. I ain't buying it over, sir. This ain't over. Okay, well now we gotta talk to her. 
Sorry, I was just letting that whole good, the whole entire thing happen. Finally, Vault 88's work can truly begin. Hi. What the hell is your game? You invite Clem and me in here to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? It's not what you think. <laughs> you can't talk your way out of this, pal. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I've got a job now. I'm an optim... I run the eye machine. I can't leave. Run while you can, Clem. So strange having... people about. Excuse me. So, one of our residents left. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. She could be the first of many to flee this vault. If it becomes too big a problem, vaults are designed to be closed, you know. Anyway, this last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections, and instead, harnessed them. What vices are you talking about? Well, greed. The schematic is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters, and... Let's see how it fares in the field. Okay. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's already built. I just can't lose. I just can't lose. Well, you just lost. Time to check in with the slot machine. I can't wait. Time to check in with the slot machine. I can't wait. Well, after we finish this, I'm going to end it right then and there. <laughs> I win again. Try this sap uh, this slot machine. It's the best. You gotta try this uh, this slot machine. It's the best. Okay, here comes Scabby Bitch.
It's actually not giving you anything. Check in with Clem. Oh, hi. That slot machine thing is a hoot. Thanks a lot for letting me try it, Lady Overseer. I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. Look, I'm tired of running all these tests. Then be glad. It's done. Finally, hundreds of years of refining and planning. The results were mixed, but in science, you rarely wind up exactly where you were expecting. Boy, the Lady Overseer sure is smart. I just feel like everything she says makes sense. Yes, Clem. Good. You should take another soda break. <laughs> With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. Vault 88 needs you, and your guidance. We can't afford to lose our overseer. A fine sentiment. But my duty is clear. I pass the mantle on to you. Guide Vault 88 to greatness. I'll kill her. You're the overseer now. Hmm. Well, I think we finished this quest line. It was a giant pile of disappointment. We leveled up. Okay. I'm trying to find the thing that, uh, yep, there it is. Let's quick save. Cool. You done with all your experiments? I hope I did good. They were real interesting. I especially liked the soda. Every time I think about it. Thanks for all your help. You kidding? It's been an honor to do, well, anything for you. I guess you're the overseer now, right? Looking forward to giving the vault my best. Cool. Well, move over. Turn it off. Right where she belongs. Okay, well, I think this quest, this session's over, so, uh, I guess, uh, thanks for watching. So, I'll see you next time.